Imran Khan, A Pakistan Personal History was published in 2011 by Bantam Books and later was translated into Urdu. It is an autobiography creatively aligned with Pakistan's political and social circumstances. I read this book in 3 days with sub vocalizing Imran Khan in my head. I felt I was talking face to face with Khan as this book clearly conveys its points. Imran Khan identified himself as a true son of soil. His fathers and forefathers lived their lives through British Raj colonization. And he proudly represents by being a Pakistani, the first generation after Pakistan's independence. He gives all the credit to his mother for crafting a base of patriotism and to instill Islamic values in young Khan and their family household. He interlinked and adjoined entertainment, politics, and religion creatively in this book, presenting and exclaiming that it all goes hand in hand. Or at least, in his case, he learned a lot and grew with each of these phases of his life. As a cricketer, as a philanthropist, as an educationist, as a Sufi, as a politician. and yet it is remarkable to see that he achieved his goal with hard work and determination khan remembers an interesting story of 1987 nawaz sharif opening as batsman at gaddafi stadium against west indies where the moral was there are no shortcuts to reach your goals khan talks about his dream of becoming a test cricketer and It was his constant determination that led him to become Pakistan cricket team captain. He stresses on dreaming big and living them by struggling for goals. However, he claims that during this time of glitz and fame, he was disconnected from Islam. It was not until his mother was diagnosed with cancer which later robust his intention to create Shahid Khanum Cancer Hospital. During this crucial time he re-engaged with his roots and religion. He also tells episodes with Mia Bashir, a spiritual guide who prayed and guided him from time to time. Khan shared insights into his marriage with Jamaima Goldsmith with grace and the reality of how she struggled to be the wife of an upcoming politician. He is saddened by how his marriage didn't survive the test of time and how his children suffered in between. Quote, She had tried incredibly hard, but my political career and the constant attacks on her were very difficult. I felt guilty because as the older partner, I was more responsible for our marriage. As I read further I understood that he is genuinely inspired by Jinnah's struggle for azadi and idealizes Alama Iqbal's philosophy on religion and spirituality. He keens on Iqbal's poetry enriched with deep philosophy throughout the book and dedicates Iqbal the last chapter. Quote Iqbal was an idealist but he offered concrete guidance to muslim about how to live a life grounded in integrated vision of the quran his political views are straightforward and against injustice which made him the founder and chairman of pti pakistan tehreek e insaf the vision reignites from the merry go round of corrupt political giants who looted the nation whereas khan started everything from the scratch All right folks that's it for my review today I thoroughly enjoyed this autobiography I hope my review influences you to read this autobiography of Mr Khan Be sure to connect with me on social media platforms drop your comments as I look forward to them and if you have not already please be sure to like share and subscribe 
See you all in the next podcast. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.